Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're talking about the brand new human generator that is now available for Blender. Right now, for those who would like to get this, you can simply go over to the link in the description and grab this, as currently with this brand new release, they're actually giving 25% off. So just in case you wanna get this for 25% off, you can simply go over to the link in the description and grab this one right now. So with this said, what and what do you get with this tool and what is the whole idea for this? Now this tool is for those who want to generate human characters faster, quickly, and you don't want to go through all of those hurdles of dealing with skin, trying to do those shading, or maybe you don't want to even do the whole rigging thing by yourself. So if you just need a model that you can just grab out and, you know, do a couple of tweaks and get these things up and running ready for animation, then this is actually something that you can look at. Although there's also a conversation here that says that due to the current state of these things, you cannot actually export these over to other softwares. We will go through, explore how that one works and uh, what on what you would get if you move these models from Blender over to other softwares for example Maya. So with this said we're going to dive directly into Blender and take a look at how this actually works. So with Blender simply open how you get to work with this one is simple. Go over to edit, go over to preference and do your installation. There's a tiny guide on how you can install this and it's quite simple to follow and once you have that done, all you need to do is press N on your keyboard and right here, you would notice that we have the human generator. How this works is as simple as clicking on this button and then you can select from a list of three major categories that they've enlisted right now. So you can switch from, you know, Asian to black to Caucasian, depending on what you want to do actually, you can just simply select this. And once you're done, if you need a female character, you can also switch and grab a female character. If you need a male character, you can switch over to male and grab whichever one that you want. So I'm just going to set this to Asian and click on generate new human and what this will do is it will automatically generate a brand new human and we can simply select this and delete that go back and select this human character and then we can start doing some stuff if you would like to randomize the entire body you can do this and randomize the body to get your perfect fit i mean if you don't want to dial these things up and down you just want to allow the software guess for you this is definitely something that can work for you and you can use this to create some cool stuff and once you're ready you can also proceed to the next step the next step deals with the face and this is where you can start dialing things a little bit more so you want to give this character a little bit of personality you can do all of that from here and you can also randomize these things to also get something cool and it just makes sense to see that at any point in time you want to reset the face you can reset the face you can play with the upper skull the eye the ear the nose you can actually dial these things to suit what you're going for so it depends on you and the same thing applies to the ethnicity as you can actually notice that when we started out we actually made this a hundred percent asian we can throw in a little bit of black right there and maybe a little bit of caucasian just to make it you know a mixed race character and we can start getting some cool stuff and by the way at any point you want to preview this of course you can preview the shading to see what you have and by default once you start dialing these things up and down automatically the shading is there so if i go in and start dialing this all the way to black and push the caucasian all the way backwards and maybe even push the asian all the way backwards you notice that the skin actually conforms to the entire body so depending on what you want to do actually you can go in and have fun playing with this so so once you're done with this, the next thing which we need to deal with is the shading. So if we go over to the next tab, you'll notice that we have the shading. And if you would like to see the subsurface scattering, you can turn this on. And this would also take a little more time to calculate and give you something better. And the best place to actually enjoy seeing this is by simply throwing in a little bit more light. So we already have a light here. So I'll just go in and add one more light somewhere about there and get a cool close up. So you can see what we have, let's zoom out. So you can see what we have with Eevee. Doesn't look bad at all, looks pretty decent. So select the character. You can see what we have with Eevee. And if we set this back to off, you can see what we have now. It looks pretty matte-like, okay? So if you wanna get that subsurface scattering, you can turn that on and you can see that subsurface scattering happening right here. And of course, you can also switch these to cycles if cycles actually puts a smile on your face. You can do this and uh, you can also see some very cool results from this one. But you know, for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna set this to Eevee so that we can proceed and take a look at some more stuff. So for those who want to play with the redness, you can play with the redness from here. You can play with the tone as well. So if you want this to be a little bit more Caucasian or a little bit more darker, you can get some good results with this. So it's a highly customizable tool that you can use to create your own models. So moving over to the eyes, you can change the eye color. Let's say we want to make this a little bit pretty 
and put some blue right there okay so we can do that you can also play with the freckles so you want to add a bit of freckles on this model so let's get up close and personal and throw in a little bit of freckles right there that looks nice and we can also put in some splotches as well so we can also do that and uh, that looks good now if you also want to age this you can throw in some aging let's say we want to have some wrinkles on this character by the way i don't really like the fact that we're seeing this rig so i'm just gonna go ahead and take that off so that you guys can enjoy the entire model so we can throw in a bit of wrinkle and you can see we're aging the aging aging the aging and we can also make the skin sag a little bit and i guess this is a little bit more uh, processor intensive as it takes a little bit of time to calculate okay so you can see that there's a little lag to that and uh, the wrinkles is automatic and it's uh, pretty nice you can also play with the beauty spot so you want to add a little bit of beauty spots on this model okay so you can also grab that there and you can play with the opacity depending on how visible you want these things to be let's just go back and make this guy look a bit more younger kind of like him the way he was before and uh let's go backwards a little bit and the beauty spot looks a little bit too much so i'm just gonna dial that down a little like so looks good we have a nice personality to this guy and yeah so if we move forward we can go in and throw in a little bit of beard shadow so maybe a little bit of mustache and maybe a little bit of beard that looks nice okay so we can see that beard line and the character is coming to life moving forward if we go over to the next step this is where the hair thing actually comes in handy so let's take a look at the hairstyles that we have here and they're pretty nice hairs but i love the cortis fade okay so let's go with cortis fade or maybe we can go with a combed style i don't know we can just simply choose something random i guess this was the one they used for the trailer i don't think we should use this one let's use something else so we can go with the cortis fade cortis fade looks good so we can select that and it's just going to go through calculate the hair and apply that hair right here if you don't want to see the children of the hair you can always turn this off and you can actually see the wireframe of what the hair looks like okay so you know that you're going to get something better at the end of the day so at this point this doesn't really matter so you can always uh, go back to get what you want if you want to add a bit of a facial hair to this you can also go over to the facial hair section and you can add some facial hair so we already looked at the first one so i'm just going to throw in a full beard you know we gave that a shadow for the beard so it just makes sense to add a full beard to this one so let's go ahead and throw in that full beard and by the way you would notice that we have a section called all categories you can choose to play with the categories and you can see what you have we can go all the way down and we can also play with this okay so you can see that we have the hair length you can play with the hair length and this is just highly customizable right so for the hair materials you can also play with the hair materials jumping over to the next tab this is uh this is a place that is quite fun so we want to make this character taller we can click on this button he becomes taller if we want to make him a bit short we can also dial this down and he's a bit short and one thing to note is you can see that the hair sticks to this model as everything goes back and forth so once you're done click on the finish creation phase and confirm that now if you don't confirm this what happens is you would not be able to go over to your next character creation phase which deals with adding clothes and also posing your character so with this done what we can now do is we will notice that the creation phase is finished it is time to add some clothes so click on this button find some clothes i do like the barbecue berry so let's go ahead and take a look at that and that looks good and automatically you would also notice that we have a name for our character called jeff hello jeff okay so we can play with jeff and do some cool stuff with him and we can also go over to the footwear we can select the footwear that we want so if we go to the categories you notice that there's an office outdoor sneakers and spot so i do like this character to have a little bit of a running shoe so let's go ahead and add that and you can see this character looks cool already i mean just take a look at this this is literally going to take you about let's say three hours four hours depending on how quick you're cool with modeling to actually finish this up and get to a result and i believe like in a couple of days you might not even be able to get the result like this but with a tool like this you're just getting all the things and they are right here in blender sub surface perfect you're getting all of these wrinkles you're getting this clothes you're getting the shoe you're getting the hair lovely stuff all right so once we're done with that if we want to pose this character we can jump over to this section where we can pose our character so we can choose any of these poses that exist so let's go ahead and find a cool pose for this guy and i think this pose doesn't look bad oh this pose doesn't look bad and i think i know the perfect thing to put there of course the cube so let's go ahead and turn on our overlays click on this cube scale this cube down 
to a point like so. So I guess this is a this is a good one. So let's go through position that and uh, position this one right about here. Okay, so I'm just gonna press the tab key and dive over to three, and I will move this upwards to this point. And yep, we are good. Okay, so it's pretty cool already model looks nice we love this character and jeff looks exactly like what you want jeff to look like so with this once you want to get your model hair back let's say you want to see it what you can do is you can select the model and then you can go all the way back to the creation tab and do whatever you want but there is actually something i think you guys need to know especially if you want to work with this a little bit more and before we talk about that let's take a look at the expressions as there's a couple of expressions that we have here there is one expression I was looking for that I wasn't able to find. If you select any of these well-made expressions, there is no expression that takes you back to the default look, okay? So there is no default look. The closest that comes to that default look is uh, the disgust. And it doesn't look like that. And I hope that the developers get to add that default look so that you can actually switch back and forth depending on what you want. So you can select any of the faces that you want. And in several circumstances that you're working on a model like this, and you seem to have issues with the clothes adapting to the model, you can always go over to this extra section and then there is a set of developer stuff that you can use. So you can select whatever thing that you want and hit the calculate and it's gonna calculate the body and also calculate whatever assets that you have on top of this model and position that properly. So the same thing happens for so many other parts as well. So just in case you have this issue, which you're likely not to have, this is how you get to fix it. Meanwhile, if we go over to the creation phase and we want to see the children, we can simply turn this on. And once we turn this on, our full hair is back. You know, Jeff is looking cool again. And uh, this looks cool. So for those who want to pose this back, I would really love to get this guy back into the A pose. We can also get him back into that A pose, select this and delete that. And you might be wondering, can we animate this and do stuff with it? Yes, you can. So you can select any of these joints or you can select the rig right here, which is the HG Jeff. Click on this button, go over to your pose mode and within your pose mode, you will be able to control this model how you want. So depending on what you want, you can actually do some cool stuff. So let's position our model like this and we can have this one uh, working. Now, the reason why you might notice a little bit of drag is the hair that we have there, because you know, to every movement, it gets to calculate it. And this is the reason why I'm saying that if you want to go ahead and do some very cool things, you might want to turn off the hair children. So in case you want to get things happening like this, it's going to be a bit faster compared to what you get when the children are turned on. So this is a very cool tool for anyone who wants it. And yes, I do know that most of you guys might want to use this to create quick things and export it over to other 3D apps and do some fun stuff with it. And the truth is, yes, it is possible. There are certain things that you can export and certain things that you cannot export, at least now. So if you want to export the hair, you might want to, you know, bake this hair, convert the hair to geometries before you can export it. Regardless of that, if you want to export this and use it in other 3D apps, this is what you get. And actually, this is how you do it. So to export, what I would suggest is if you go over to file, go over to export, export this as an FBX file. So if you export this as an FBX file, let's just call this Jeff. What I would suggest that you do is right here, I want you guys to go over to amateur section and also turn off add leaf bone, all right? So you need to turn this off, else you're going to have extra joints everywhere. And once you have that ready, all you need to do now is just simply click on export and it's going to export this model out of here as an FBX file and you can use it in any other app that you're working with. So what do we do? We're just going to go ahead and fire up Maya and then we will see how this one works. So with Maya simply open, what we're going to do is uh, look for the file called Jeff, drag and drop that right in here. And Maya would read this file and once it does, we would now notice that we have a model right here. So the same thing goes for any other, you know, app that you're working with. So if you want to export this model from here over to any 3D app, that is exactly what you do. But one thing to note is you would not be able to get the hair, all right? So the hair doesn't come with it. The shading, on the other hand, doesn't come with it. So except you choose to bake this thing as a texture from the shading, all right? Except you do that, it doesn't come with it, okay? So don't expect to get 100% of what you have in Blender over here. So what you're going to get is the mesh and also the skin binding. And the skin binding 
with the armature these are like the two major things that comes with this so at this point you can now select any of these parts and uh, you can do stuff like this all right so you want to move the character a little bit like so oh what are you thinking i'm thinking this you can do things like so and you can also you know move these things around so if you're thinking about creating things really rapidly faster and you want to use this in other 3d apps of course you can but you just need to bake those textures out else you would not be able to have them with textures and another thing to note is the hair doesn't also come so you need to find a way to bake the hair out as a geometry else you would not be able to have that and you know specifically for the developers if there is a way that you guys can make these hairs turn into geometries that they can export out this is definitely going to be perfect but regardless of that, this is an amazing tool that you can use. I mean, think about all the possibilities that you can get with this. It just took us literally a few minutes to just get these things up and running. And you can see from the nails to the skin. And this is actually EV, not cycles. Topology looks great. Yeah, topology looks really, really great. So you guys can see this. So for those who might be thinking, what about the topology in case we want to animate this? Topology looks really, really cool. And it's also interesting to know that within the pose section, you can also throw in Rigify. So let's actually dive back and uh, take a look at this one. So I'm also going to turn this on so that you guys can see that. And if you look at this section, you would notice we have Rigify. So if I click on that button, we can now say generate Rigify. So by simply clicking on this, what would happen is you would notice that it says you should check your Rigify rig to make sure that that is active. And that simply means that for you to have the Rigify thing working, you need to go over to edit, go over to preference. And within your preference, within the section where you have your add-on, you need to look for the word Rigify. And that way, you can now actually work with the Rigify alongside with the human generator. So let's just make sure that we have this one in, click right here, save your preference, close this, and then we should be able to rumble. So I'm also gonna go back, select this, which is the rig, click on generate Rigify rig, and that way we should be able to have the controllers directly on top of this rig and we are, you know, good to go. So at any point in time, you wanna play with this, you want to, you know, control it, simply go over to your object section, switch over to the pose mode, select any of these parts that you want or you know any of these other parts so let's also go over and uh, select the part like so you have your icon your fk thingy so you can do some lovely things with it so we can actually go through select the foot and uh, we can do something like so we can raise that up we can also choose to rotate this depending on what we want let's say we want to rotate this a little bit towards this part we can do that and yeah for those who like to also play with some other sections of the character you might also want to do things like so and maybe move this forward move this backward of course this is a very cool and a lovely tool for anyone who wants to work with it you guys would definitely find a lot of ease working with this one and just like we talked about earlier working or creating characters with things like this is super easy just simply grab this and let's say you want to make something really rapid you can go through select something click on generate and for this one we could just go about next 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 and then you can get something very lovely happening pretty pretty quick so this is more like it for those who would like to grab this you can simply go over to this link it's gonna be in the description so you can go over to the link in the description and check it out and you can actually tell that a lot of people love this tool they are actually you know grabbing this as much as they can as it's just released one day ago and there is over 300 plus purchase and the rating looks perfect and for those asking about license because i did notice that a lot of you guys were complaining about licensing thing and all that one thing to note is this this license doesn't restrict you from anything it has the GPO license which simply means that you have the freedom to use this software for any purpose or simply you know you can use this for anything that you want and at the same time you can share and also make changes however you choose and this doesn't restrict you from moving this from one software to another it simply means that you can use this for anything regardless of what tool you have or how you actually got in contact with this in the first place and that's about it I'd like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with the tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace